Def Core Dre no brainer industry. The things about the entertainment industry you might not know, but I'm gonna get you hip. So look, man, you got Metro Boomin calling out Twenty One Savage for lying in his interview. I'm gonna go ahead and run the video right away. I ain't gonna waste your time. So listen to what Twenty One say, right? Lou Uncle Shay Shay on the podcast, man. But niggas sit on his couch and just feel like they could say anything. <clears throat> Look at this nigga just looking looking for a lot of tail. Look at this. Like um, we was just talking about this last night. We was playing the game, and they was like, um, "Spell super califragilistic espialidocious," <laughs> and it was crazy because I won the spelling bee in fifth grade spelling that same word. Wow. And nigga. I won the math competition that same year. Like, this nigga said he won the spelling bee in fifth grade spelling <laughs> super califragilistic acidosis. <laughs> Salute Uncle Shay Shay on the podcast, man. <laughs> nigga sit on his couch. Uh, this nigga stupid. He said he won the. <laughs> I can just feel like they could say anything. Hold up. Do y'all believe this nigga? My... <laughs> nigga just looking. Y'all believe? Y'all believe 21? Look at this. Like, um, we was just talking about this last night. We was playing the game, and they was like, um, Spell super califragilistic espialidocious. So did you spell it? <laughs> and it was crazy because I won the spelling bee in fifth grade spelling that same word. Wow. And nigga. I won the math competition that same year. Like, this nigga said he won the spe spelling bee in fifth grade spelling. <laughs> super califragilistic. <laughs> hey, chill. They say Unk got something in that cognac. Hey, yo, chill. Hey, nah, hold on. Hey, why, why, bruh, the print, it's not the same, but he, he still walked in there with the same kind of color wave. But y'all believe, y'all believe 21? Y'all believe this nigga won the math, the math petition game in fifth grade or the spelling bee challenge? I thought 21 was out here catching, catching fades and running drills. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. This nigga Metro Boomin though, bro. Metro Boomin been. It seems like he he been beefing with a lot of motherfuckers, bro. Not a lot of motherfuckers, but he just been beefing too damn much. Cause not only was it was cause, like, not necessarily beefing. I don't even know what to call it, bro. Bro was going at Drake, somewhat. He went to act, or act went at him. And then now he's over here talking about 21. I don't know if there is a Metro booming without 21. I don't know if there is a 21 without Metro booming. I feel like both of them, if if my memory serves me right, both of them came up from each other. But Metro booming, he just cooking. He just cooking this man right now. He fucking with him. Why, why he made this video? <laughs> Said you probably read 3,000 books in a year too, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I believe it. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna say he one hundred percent lying. Cause how would you know? A lot of these rap niggas be squares any goddamn way. Now I'm not. I'm not saying that being smart make you a square. But who knows who this who bro was? He could have been the quiet kid in the back, a very class passing all the grades. All right. But anyway, I, I do got another clip. I do got another clip from Twenty One at the same on the same interview. Let's just go ahead and play it. Hey, subscribe to my account real quick. I'll give you five seconds. Go find that subscribe button. Go ahead, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. But go ahead, run it. I be feeling like I don't be doing all the way my job because of my job. Right. Type shit. Mm -hmm. So I be trying to like balance that out. Like trying to like, it's like you 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 work to re receive, to gain all this success and all the good shit. But it's like, I feel like the best parents in my opinion, is parents that don't got it all. I feel like broke parents are, are better than rich parents, mm -hmm. in my opinion, because when you broke, you got way more time type shit. Right. So you there for like a lot of the shit. Like, yeah, gifts and shit matter, but they don't matter at the same time. Sometimes all a kid needs is time. Facts. Your time. Facts. Something that a gift can't replace. Facts. We see... Uh I be feeling like. All right, so let, let me say this from the standpoint of a broke nigga. <laughs> so I don't 100% know, but this is what I will say. This is what I think. This is what I think. I think what he's saying only makes sense depending on what type of rich parent you're talking about. 
Now, if you talk about a rich parent that's a musician, then I can see why you could be saying that because you, you probably, you know, you're probably on the road a lot, especially when you 21 and you just coming off, you coming off of an album with Drake, bro. Like you probably, then Brad probably hasn't spent much time with it, with his kids. If does he have kids? Yeah, he does have. He does, right? Let me find out. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I always gotta do the background check on niggas. Does Twenty One Savage have kids? Twenty One. Damn, nigga got eight. He got eight kids. Bro, I got eight kids. Wait, 21 is married? <laughs> 21 married? <laughs> of course. Of course. Just like the female rappers. Female rappers be out here rapping about fuck these niggas. Don't need a nigga. Da 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 da. But be wifed up. <laughs> these niggas be on the same shit, bruh. This nigga 21 got a whole motherfucking wife. But back to the point that I was making. I could see why maybe if you were. A touring artist, a, a current artist that's that's higher than one of the most um what's the word I'm looking for? Sought after artists. Like twenty one is is one of the bigger artists, rappers in the game right now. I can see why he wouldn't spend a lot of time with his kids and I can see why he would say he feel as though he don't spend why he feel as though parents that don't got money spend more time. But this is the kill. Money don't Create time Money money, Having money And being rich Don't mean that your time Is any more taken up You know what I'm saying And the reason I know this Is because I am First hand experience Working a lot In general Will have you not Being able to be around Your kids a lot Like there's people out here Banging out 60 hours in a week I've done that before. You get up, you got kids, you gotta get your kids together, take your kids to the daycare, take them to school, whatever it is. Go to work. And now, of course, I'm just saying that this is just a template. Go to work, get off of work, commute. First of all, to com- get your kids up in the morning, commute into work, back to work. I mean, not back to work, back to the commute back home, get your kids, whatever it is, bro. It leaves a very, very short ass window. A very, very short window for life, man. Like, for real. Think about it. It's 24 hours in a day. 24 hours in a day. That means you get three sets of eight. Three times eight is 24. You get three different windows of eight hours, basically, right? Because most people, if you work in a typical job, you're working eight hours in a day. But how much time did you get yourself prepared? How much time did you spend preparing yourself to go to work? Let's just say it took you an hour to get yourself and your kids ready. Got to get your kids to school. And then you got to get to work. You got to figure all these things out. That's two hours already gone. And you spend eight hours at work. That's 10 hours of your day already gone. Then you got to come back home. I should say 30 minutes. Let me give it average. 30 minute commute to get back home. Get in the house. Kick your shoes off. Kick your, kick everything off. You got to eat, right? If you ain't got no wife that's staying at home because maybe your wife is working too. Or if you're a woman, you a hus- you, you're a husband working too. And you working. Food got to get made. Kids got to eat. Kids might have homework. We was already at 10 hours and 30 minutes. Let's just add a cool three hours. Four hours. Let's add four hours to that. Now you're looking at 14. 14 hours. 14 and a half. So at that point, 
You gotta go to sleep Let's say you wanted to just chill for a little bit Because at this point you only got At this point you only got nine and a half hours You got 14 and a half hours You only got nine and a half hours Until you need to be back up In the morning to do it all over again You want to sit down and chill Okay Go ahead sit down and chill Unless you, You're supposed to get eight hours of sleep So that really left only an hour To chill Just cause you're rich and famous Don't mean That you any more busy Than the regular working people out here You a musician bro You could could bring your kids on You could have your kids While you at work Most of us can't Now Other rich parents right there's other rich parents that aren't musicians. There's other rich parents that have businesses that are being ran for them. Yeah, they may pull up every once in a while. They might not. They got all the time in the world. They chilling. I think it all comes down to your mentality. And how do you spend that time with your kids, man? I think that's what it really comes down to. But listen, I'm going to start going live soon. I know I've said that before For anybody that listens to me man I appreciate y'all Everybody that be listening to me man and Sit here and listen to me just talk I appreciate y'all I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers man Almost at 3,000 My page is getting bigger I'm gonna start getting on live very soon I'm gonna say within the next week Cause I need to be able to talk to y'all And speak to y'all directly So just look out for that man Look out for that like I said, subscribe if you haven't already. Watch this video right here. Subscribe bubble right here. And I am out.